The Left Can't Meme is a new meme review style show on Parlor, where Benny Johnson showcases and comments on this week's hot conservative memes. And it's just as unbearable as it sounds. <laughs> Musk memes, so hot right now. And the people at Twitter are like, I feel like I've taken crazy pills. I feel like I'm taking crazy pills. Now to give a bit of context to those that don't know, Parlor is a conservative social media that focuses on free speech which is code word for, I want to say the N word on social media. So of course, upon its release, it was flooded with political extremists and it created such a hostile environment that it was taken off of the app store, leaving me to have to download it off of my fucking browser in the same way that hentai apps are downloaded. And don't ask me how I know that. I, I read it in a book somewhere, okay? Sue me. And as social platforms do, they started sponsoring creators to make exclusive content to engage their users. They started putting out shows like Caitlin Bennett's Loading Your Rifle As Well As Your Diaper, uh, Ben Shapiro's Living Without a Nasal Passage, and today's topic, Benny Johnson's The Left Can't Meme. All of these are real shows, and I can say that because absolutely none of you will download the app and prove me wrong. A clip from the show went viral on Twitter this week, and let me tell you, critics are raving. So just to give you an idea of what the show's like, let me just play the intro. My name is Benny Johnson, and welcome to the world-exclusive premiere of The Left Can't Meme, a parlor where free speech lives and is champion in the form of hilarious memes and content that we are going to be highlighting on our show. Hilarious. Memes. Hilarious memes indeed. <laughs> I'm, I'm gonna let it play out a little bit. Now many of the memes we will show you on today's episode would get you banned on social media. Why do a show on memes? Because the memes hurt their feelings. The extremely fragile, sad, miserable, cat-loving people who just want to wreck and ruin comedy for the rest of us. So you get the point. The show is meant to trigger the fragile and miserable cat lovers of the world with its sick, edgy memes. If a lib saw these memes, they would burst into flames. No, I don't want pizza rolls right now, Mom. I'm looking at Elon Musk memes. He literally just lets me do anything. He's, a, he's an angel. This is Wesley. He's a little noodle and he's just purrs the whole time. To ridicule and to make fun of the people you're not supposed to make fun of. Well, Benny, you're right about one thing. I am miserable, but not in the way you want me to be. <laughs> so then Benny continues on to showcase the best conservative memes the community has to offer. Let's get into them. Let the salty, salty tears flow. Every live from the place. Come on with that tease. What about uh, Elon Musk dancing? Did you need this? I needed this. Go. Head cutouts of people dancing. That's it, ladies and gentlemen. We've done it. We found the peak of comedy. Thank God for Parlor. Otherwise, these memes would be banned. Banned. This is memes to them. <laughs> I didn't know what I expected, what I thought conservatives would find funny, but this is it apparently. Y'all remember back in the day during the holidays, it was a big trend for people to slap their heads onto like dancing elves and send them out to their family members? <laughs> Sla slap fucking Trump on one of them and send it to your conservative uncle. He'll probably keel over and shit himself laughing. It's incredible. It's honestly the pinnacle of memes. I don't know why I'm making fun of it because it's so funny. It's so funny. Elon Musk planting screaming libs in the fields. Elon Musk just bought Twitter. Whew, making me excited. Here's Elon whipping people out of the, the temple that is Twitter. <laughs> re the re rocket. Yes, of course, classic the re. Why don't you just build your own Twitter? Why don't I just buy yours? No! <laughs> re! And this is the only other joke they can make, Elon Musk jokes. Ever since he bought Twitter and promised to bring back free speech, conservatives have just been sucking him off. It's insane. But go off, Benny. Suck the Musk dry. And in a few months when he returns free speech to Twitter, I'm sure Parler, the free speech app, will be as popular as ever, and I'm sure they'll renew your show for another season. Good job, Benny. <laughs> you did it. It's a suppository. I don't know really what that means, but 
Yikes, it's the red pill. Watch out. <laughs> oh my God. So, some jokes just write themselves. Uh, Benny might not understand them, but he's the meme expert here. Now let's take a quick second to highlight some of what Benny has been adding to these memes, shall we? Here is the le here is the libs being fired off like rockets. Very funny. Very good. I'm the captain now. Nice, nice. The I'm leaving Twitter starter pack. <laughs> yeah. Why didn't you solve the world's problems? <laughs> ah, yes. Triggered Rhapsody. Triggered Rhapsody. Very good. Queen reference. The triggered people screaming. <laughs> Yes. Re -la! Re the re rocket. Re and then the re. Re. Now you would think that the host of a meme show would have a bit more jokes or clever insight to say about these memes, right? But then you remember that the show is already a ripoff of a Twitter page, the right can't meme. And then you remember that Benny Johnson was fired from BuzzFeed for plagiarism. And it all starts to make sense. You want to know another funny tidbit showing just how little effort they put into the show? Elon Musk is extremely dangerous to our democracy. Elon Musk is extremely dangerous to our democracy. And this, and this is, is extremely, extremely dangerous, dangerous to our democracy. democracy. The clip that he just used to accentuate the libs are just NPCs argument is actually from the Sinclair Broadcast Group, which is a company that uses their ownership of local news stations to push their conservative agendas. Sinclair's local newscasters recording an identical promo accusing the national media of spreading fake news. This is extremely dangerous to our democracy. Bruh, <laughs> that's fine if the left can't meme. I mean, the right can't Google, dog. <laughs> the right can't do basic research. Meme reviews. We're going to do it every single week. No, God! No, God, please, no! 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 Anyway, for as much political discourse as I've been spitting, I didn't mean for this video to be political, because at the end of the day, I believe that we are in bipartisan agreement that these memes fucking suck. Triggered Rhapsody. Triggered Rhapsody. In fact, most political memes suck, and the stereotypes seen in this video of the left being fragile and easily triggered, honestly, is the same for the right, because I mean, watch, um, nail polish. Look at that. I just gave your grandpa an aneurysm. Holy shit, triggered. I think all that's left to say is if you're gonna make a conservative meme review, at least fucking try. And you know what? While I'm here on Parlor, the free speech app, I've got some free speech I wanna let out myself. Picture of Caitlin Bennett shitting herself, Donald Trump hanging out with a sex trafficker, and a man wearing makeup. That's it. Yep, there it is. My account got banned. Good night, everybody.